I'm here at the ASUS Republic of Gamers Play It Cool event with the boys from Team Legacy of League of Legends. Hi, I'm Inkiwao and I'm in the coach position. Hi, I'm Curtis, otherwise known as Regret9 and I play support for Legacy. Uh, I'm Kelvin, also known as King and I play ADK. Hi, I'm James, also known as Tally and I play Top. I'm Aaron, also known as, known as Choo Choo's and I play Midlane. My name is Tim, uh, my gamer tag is Carbon and I play Jungle for Legacy Esports. Uh, so the boys here have been uh, living together in a game house for a, a bit of time now. Um, how has that been for you guys? Yeah, so far the experience has been fun. We've been here for about a, a month and it's just, it's a lot easier than everyone would expect it to be. Everything runs pretty smooth. Everyone manages to tidy up after themselves and yeah, it's, it's good fun. Yeah, just to add on that, it actually is a lot easier than I anticipated. Um, first, one of the first gaming houses, you would imagine that it would be quite messy, but um, I'm actually fairly surprised of how clean everything's been. Who's a shot caller during the games? You? Has that kind of translated into living together with the guys? Like, do you go ahead and say, oh yeah, I've been stacking for a while, I want you to solo the dishes? Um, no, not really. Uh, mostly I just do everything. <laughs> yeah, alright, yeah. okay. okay Stack and dry. Um, yeah, uh, no, it doesn't really uh, carry to outside the game. Um, but yeah, look, i got to agree with Aaron. It, I thought it would be significantly worse, but uh, it's, running, it's running very well at the moment. So um, now living all together, have you seen a different side to each other that you didn't see before? Um, yeah, I guess like you can see everyone's personality like a bit more like, you know, just interacting with them in day to day life. I mean, like a lot of people on the internet think, you know, these guys are like jokers, but you know, because they joke around a lot, obviously. Um, but like in real life, they're like really kind, like nice, you know, they take care of everything, they clean. It's just, it's so different from the typical gamer stereotype. You know, um, so yeah, just it's cool. Um, I'd have to disagree with Minky mainly because <laughs> we've been playing through with each other for about a year. Besides Calvin, so a year together, especially when traveling, is a lot of time. And so going into the gaming house was really, really smooth, just for the reason that we already know each other. So yeah. So we've been we've known each other for a fairly long time already. So we pretty much know each other's like habits and stuff pretty well. But then. When we moved in together, you pick up on the small things, like how Curtis will leave a half-eaten box of shapes on his desk, or Aaron leaves his pile of pear, like, bits on his desk, or how I put barbecue sauce on top of the bread and not inside it, and this apparently offends everyone for some reason. Who does that? <laughs> it's normal! Only one in the world. Yeah, yeah, I mean, just adding on James, like, you definitely, talking to each other, we've known each other for about a year, I've known Tim for about three years, um, you seem to pick up each other's personality, how like we react to each other. But once you live together, like in um, like next to each other, you start to pick up all the small things. Um, but I've also started to get used to them, so I don't think it's too big of a deal. And we're going to be living with each other for a while, so I imagine it'll just become like just be normal eventually. So esports obviously is huge in most other places in the world, Korea. United States, uh, a lot of European places. Um, it's starting to pick up in Australia and um, you guys in League of Legends, especially with Riot Games, the way they are and helping push, do you think that's a really big step for Australia to be taking? Riot have been uh, instrumental in uh, pushing esports forward in Australia, particularly obviously League of Legends, but uh, I, think, I think in general, you know, the professionalism that they deal with uh, transfers, I think, across the scene. I know personally that I, as a, as a, not only as a player but as a member of the esports community, someone who who runs an organisation, uh, right, ha have taught me a lot about about not only professionalism but but how to do that, how how to grow an esports scene. Um, so I honestly cannot praise them enough. So you're the the latest member of the team. How has it been for you transitioning to a team that's been playing together for a while? I sort of knew Curtis for a bit. I, I played with him back in NA, but. Being the newest member on the team, there's sort of like a weird uh, pressure to like uh, not be worse than the person that you're replacing and yeah. So um, with League of Legends, uh, there is a very clear way to kind of see what level you're at. Um, was it instrumental in you guys being able to say, I like playing this game, but I'm actually able to be the best that I could possibly be? and potentially be um, professional with it. It's most of us like played the game normally, right? And yeah. like talent, like you just naturally is shown and like you just naturally just rise up in rank and like yeah. 
as you reach the top of the ladder, like then people would just like good players would just automatically like ask other good players to make teams and like it's really easy to notice when you're actually good at the game and becoming a pro like that's it's really easy if you just like if you're if you're good then like you will eventually become pro if you put your mind to it. How you guys feel about Oceania growing, but having experienced or seen and watched the internationals go. Um, have any of you experienced international play? Um, yes, we've played overseas before. Um, Oceania is definitely growing, um, which we're all very excited about. But uh, having played overseas, uh, we played at Gamescom, which is one of the larger, or largest I think maybe, uh, gaming conventions. I think there was like 300,000 people there. Um, so th that was an incredible experience and you know seeing that is is quite humbling when you think about where you come from yeah look we're very excited that Oceania is growing and you know we'll do everything we can to help its growth I'm not sure if, every, if anyone's like aware but um our last Oceanic's last performance internationally they actually came second uh, in the and I was one step away from going into the major world's tournament so um, I actually think with this gaming house and the talent, the roster that Legacy possesses right now, um, I'm very confident in how we can actually make it all the way to the big international tournaments now. So my international experience was uh, Germany for the 2014 Wildcards, I believe, yes. Um, yeah, it was, it was crazy. The event was massive, people everywhere. Um, not many of them knew us because, you know, we were from you know, Australia and everyone there was mostly European. Um, but we had a couple. Um, they, were, they were mostly there for the bigger games after us, the EULCS. But, if, like, to get at that level, I think one day, like, that would be, you know, the dream for Ocean and the dream for us. How many of you saw yourself in this position, say, four years ago? Did any of you think you would actually get to the pro gaming scene like from there or did you all imagine <laughs> something else all right well i'm gonna be 100 percent honest four years ago i didn't even have an internet connection no i was way. i was living in far north queensland and all i did was ride motorbikes and go to my friend's house and just <laughs> do whatever like do normal like boy stuff but then i moved and i got my first internet connection and instantly i just i just played games non-stop like started focusing less on school and non -stop, just kept playing games all the time because it was just like amazing <laughs> and then eventually it worked out for you yeah eventually <laughs> it worked out <laughs> I suddenly became Praise good at these the games I spent all the time playing and yeah I was able to make I guess a small career out of it which is nice yeah, so different to James I did have internet um, <laughs> I had it for a while um, yeah but four years ago I think I was I was playing league but I did not know that there was a esports scene um, so I think coming all the way here to living in a gaming house playing this game nearly full-time I never never actually would have thought this would happen yeah yeah four years ago I was about halfway through my degree uh, I think I started playing league five years ago so I've only been playing casually you know just mostly just in the holidays or um, when I didn't have classes as a way to procrastinate um, but yeah, no, I never thought, you know, it would go anywhere. I was just playing for fun. Um, I was never even that big a gamer in high school, to be honest. Uh, I started playing, I think, StarCraft 2 in year 12, I think, or year 11. And that was, before that, I only played, like, Nintendo. So, um, no, I never had any aspirations or any, you know, in even inkling that a career in gaming was even possible. But, uh, you know, we're here now, and, and I couldn't be happier. Um, four years ago, I was... What was I? I was in year nine. <laughs> You're in year nine. And Damn. Yeah, I never saw myself um, becoming a pro, but I always admired the pros. And yeah, eventually yeah, I am one now. Um, <laughs> feels good. Actually, four years ago when there was no Oceanic server and we played on NA, I used to play with Calvin quite a bit. And even from then, I had aspirations to be a pro player. I was obviously bad, but I looked to people like Dyrus, who was the best of his time, who's now retired. Um, a lot of the older people that have retired now, I look to them and then I just kept going throughout the seasons and I'm finally here now, reunited with Calvin, a little boy, but uh, yeah. Four years ago I was a pro Dota player actually. Um, I changed the league because the Australian league scene was actually better, there were so many more community tournaments. So I've always wanted to play competitively, I just never imagined we'd get this far and be this big. 
So it's great to hear from the boys and how they're managing to live here all together and it's great to see that it's actually brought them together and they're not at each other's throats. Um, and another big thanks to... <laughs> Someone want to add to that? I'll be back, man. I'll be back. And uh, obviously there's this great event uh, for the press and media for, uh, put together by Azus. Um, and look forward to seeing a lot more of the boys on their way to the top. Thanks,